Hi, I'm Haley, and today I'll be presenting to you about the artist Thomas Benton Hart. I will also be telling you who he is and talk to you about his art. Who is Thomas Benton Hart? Thomas Benton Hart was born on April 15, 1889 in Yosha, Missouri. He passed away on January 19, 1975 in Kansas City, Missouri. According to the artstory.org, his wife passed away 10 days after him. Thomas Benton Hart was named after one of his previous relatives who was a U.S. Senator. His father was Masonas E. Benton, who was a U Missouri Congressman. Benton lived in New York City for 20 years. That's the place that he lived the longest. Now I'm going to talk to you about Hart studies. Before studying at the Art Institute of Chicago, he started at the local Missouri paper called the Joplin American. Here at the Joplin American, he was a cartoonist. He later studied at the Art Institute of Chicago, and after finishing his studies at the Art Institute of Chicago, he moved to Paris to study at the Academia Julian. He was there for three years. After he finished studying at the Academia Julian in Paris, he moved back to the United States. When he came back to the United States, he served in the United States Navy during World War I. In the Navy, he was stationed in Norfolk, West Virginia. No. Norfolk, Virginia. His jobs were architectural draftsman and painting camouflage. After the war, he taught at the Art Students League in New York City. While in New York City, he eventually became a regionalist spokesman. He also taught at the Kansas City Art Institute and School of Design in Kansas City. What type of art does Hart create? Hart is known for his regionalism type style of art. Regionalism is the art that represents small towns, much like this piece of art titled Jesse James. He, Hart was good at capturing the still life of small towns whenever he traveled through the South and the Midwest. His quote on regionalism is this. Regionalism and artistic movement best known for its emphasis on agrarian cultural ideas. Hart's most notorious pieces of art are these three murals. The American Today was for a new school of social research in New York. Arts of Life was for the Whitney Museum of American Art. And the Cultural Industrial History of Indiana is pictured here and here. It is a 22 panel mural for the Century of Progress exhibition in Chicago. Chicago. It is now at Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana. This is my favorite piece of hearts. It is titled Aaron. It is from the 21st, 20th century. It is lithograph on paper. On the Google Arts Thomas Benton page, it is about a man that Hart met on the street and asked if he wouldn't mind to be a model for his class. It was strange because this is a time whenever racism was high and not many people wanted anything to do with people of the other color. I really like this piece because of the way it captures like the emotion in the guy's face and the contrast of how different times are now. Hart 
Hearts Moon Concerns and Art. Hearts Art is mostly portraits of everyday life, especially life of those who lived in small towns, like small towns in the South and the Midwest. His art was also meant to protest. In his art in the mural that is at IU, you can see in one of the panels, the KKK in the background. This wasn't meant to draw attention to the KKK, it was meant to protest the KKK. Hart also protested lynching and fascism that occurred during the 1930s and the 1940s. What else is Thomas Benton Hart known for? He of course is known for his murals. The portraits he has created. He Hart has also written two biographies according to the Smithsonian American Art Museum. Hart once met with Disney. He met several times with Disney in an attempt to help create the project, the Davy Crockett project. Walt was not impressed with Hart's work and was more impressed with other artists' work. So Hart quit working with Walt Disney and this is his reply. Benton sold his interest to in the Crockett project to Disney for $3,000, a financial decision he came to regret because Frontier Fabulism, spearheaded by Disney, became a staple of American popular culture in the Eisenhower area, meaning that the art that he was working on became very popular and he could have gotten more money out of it. After dropping the deal with Disney, Hart ended up crossing paths with two co-producers. These producers are Burt Lancaster and Harold Hecht. They were in search of an artist to create their movie poster. Hart went above and beyond and created the movie poster for The Kentuckian. It took several months and the finished piece was six feet tall and five feet wide, which was a big deal for back then. Hart was featured in many magazines during a time whenever he his 22 panel mural for Indiana came out, mostly due to the KKK, um, but there was so many magazines and newspaper articles on it, I chose to just stick with one, which was him being featured on the cover of Time magazine, which is a really big deal. This came out in on December 24th, 1934. I chose Thomas Benton Hart simply for the fact that he was popular in Indiana. And I don't know of many artists that are popular in Indiana. Um, I've seen his mural at IU whenever I was in fourth grade. Um, it was neat, beautiful, inspiring. I also really enjoy his paintings and lithographs. I like the way that they capture modern life of his time and the way that the details catch a lot of like emotion and movement. Fun facts, according to the Thomas Hart Benton paintings for Still Guide, the Frisco station sold for $83,000. That is the most expensive painting that has sold of his. The Loading Corn, which is a lithograph, sold for $500. That is the lowest amount that one of his pieces has gone for. And the painting that I chose, Aaron, sold for $1,375. Thank you.